All right, welcome into our studio kitchen. On this Wednesday, we have Raw Chef Jane here with us who is celebrating cauliflower. And you were telling me when you see the big chunks on the veggie trays, you kind of, mm, not so much. No, that's But there's not a whole me. different way. Well, you know, it's interesting. I, th those veggie trays are beautiful and they do serve a yeah. purpose. There's yes. no question about that. And it's a very nice thing to have at a picnic yeah, or a party or something sure. like that. But and this is where the butt comes in. Cauliflower, broccoli kind of get a bad rap because of the chunkiness and the, they, they are very fibrous. So when you have large pieces of them that are not cooked, they're very chewy. Yeah, and you do work it, on it a while. Yeah, it's really hard to do that. So I think it's really important that we come up with ways to make it softer on the palate, easier to chew, more flavorful, which is really a big, big thing for me, is mm -hmm. the flavor and the texture and all of that. So what I always encourage people to do, and you all know this, I think by now, is that if I'm giving you some suggestions, that's fine. But you know, if there are other herbs and other flavors that you like, then use those flavors in your dishes so that you'll want to eat them. And I think that's one of the most important things to remember is that Recipes are great, but they're suggestions. A recipe is a suggestion, and you can make your own things. So today, what I did this morning, I was up pretty early this morning, I think about 5 o'clock. I went outside at 6 o'clock this morning. I picked some fresh dill. Mm. I picked a couple of garlic scapes. I picked some fresh oregano and some chives. So I'm, I'm kind of all set here. And what I did was I processed my cauliflower in my food processor until it became very fine. Now, I know that you can buy cauliflower rice, if you will, mm -hmm. in supermarkets now. They do it for you, which is really nice, but it's they, still a little chunky to me, and I like it a little bit finer. Th believe me, that's, a, that's great to at least start with. You can probably soften it up a little bit by adding a little Himalayan salt to it and letting it sit for a few minutes. It'll take some of the moisture out and, you know, hopefully make it a little softer for you. Um, by all means, if you don't feel like putting it in your food processor to break it down, at least buy it where yeah. it's prepackaged and you done. have it ready, okay? And at least it's try something. it because and it's yes. very trendy right now yes. and it's so good for you. You can okay. do so much with it. And the nice it. thing about something like this is if you take it to a, a party, a barbecue or something like that, it can stay outside. There's nothing that's going to spoil in it which to me is a great mm -hmm. thing. There's nothing that's going to spoil. So what I did this morning at five o'clock, um, this was actually before I went outside at six. I broke down my cauliflower, I put it into my food processor, and I processed it until it came to be this, this nice, it's really fine and it's moist. I put a little bit of Himalayan salt in it and a lot of cra freshly ground pepper. You know me with my pepper. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the things I really, really love. So I put a lot of pepper in there. And what I'm going to do is I um, picked a couple of garlic scapes this morning and they're still a little bit small for me. I like them a little bit larger. But what you do is you just kind of take the, the top of it off and this little part in here becomes the flower. Okay. Okay. If you let it go a little bit longer, and I kind of like my scapes to go a little bit longer and even to flower a little bit so that you use a flower. And you just kind of cut it up and put it in there and it gives you a flavor of garlic, but it's not as pungent as fresh garlic would be. It doesn't have that bitterness. It doesn't have that that uh, tinning to it. it. It's it's just milder. So it doesn't it's, stay with you all no, day. No, it's softer. <laughs> it's just it's just softer. Okay. And so I mixed uh, one scape in there already. I'm going to put a little bit of the oregano and chives that I got okay. from my garden this morning. Fresh dill that I, I was it. out picking this morning. Love and dill. boy, oh, fresh dill, there is just nothing like it. It's just so beautiful. I'm going to stir this up a little bit. Okay. And what's nice also about this dish is the color. It's okay, great. and we all know, as Chris and I always say, we eat with our eyes first. And we certainly do, because if it doesn't look good, it's not going to taste as no. good. And then I chopped some tomatoes and I de-seeded the Roma tomatoes. Okay. Um, I don't have them from my garden yet, so I have to buy them. I don't have the cauliflower yet, so I had to buy it. But you know, these are prevalent things. And by the way, cauliflower has about 150 to 200 calories, the whole head, depending upon if it's a smaller <laughs> head or a larger head. That's all. So, so you can eat the whole head 
of cauliflower and still be within your daily caloric, caloric limits. All right, and I'm going to let you continue to mix. We're going to finish it up here a little later on in the show and give everybody that recipe. For more information, though, you can check out her website at rawchefjane.com. Also find her on Facebook and Instagram. The following portion.